Important to note, guys. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be an experience. I already have one dating sim on here, so might as well have another. Let's see. There we go. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Damn. <laughs> that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. Question mark? Um, yeah, I, I get that. We used to walk to school together on, di on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, just sigh an item in front of the crosswalk and let's say you catch up to me. <laughs> nice guy. Ah, ah. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. This time. Oh my gosh, he's he's abandoned her <laughs> multiple times. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you, s you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I mean, guys gotta wake up, man. Gotta go to the school, gotta do the education, get this diploma, stuff like that. They were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Sensei. Oh god, <laughs> I should have not chosen that name. <laughs> Alright. Well, if some people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly spectacled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sensei, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Oh yeah. Yeah, I noticed in anime, like, they, there's usually either, like, when there's, an, when there's a high school setting, they have a club and on that. For those of you out there who don't watch anime, all majority of you, <laughs> um, yeah. It's, uh, a lot of the clubs are uh, pretty weird. So, uh, this one I'm guessing is a literature club. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Yeah, that's not true. You told me... You would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of her many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> Friend of the year, everyone. 10 out of 10. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the av average while spending my free time on games and anime. I can sadly relate. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college. That's nice. She worries about us. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And if you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. Well, look after. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Will it though? No promises though. <laughs> yeah, see? There's a catch. It's always a catch. Will you at least promise you, me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by, a care, by such a carefree girl? Because you're a pushover. And a sweetheart. More than that, I'm surprised that... I, I even let myself relate to her. 
Hmm. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her, of her head. I hope my reading's clear enough. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I can relate. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. <laughs> clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I'll have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom when I was spacing out. I guess that's an explanation. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. I do not have the voice to narrate these things. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. I'll open the club. Sayori. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, <laughs> meanie. Alright, okay. What? What's up with the hands? I always noticed that, like... Who does this when they're mad? Or ticked off? Sayori is vice president of the literature club. How do you how do you elect these things? It's just like, hey you, you wanna you wanna ha handle the paperwork and crap? Uh, not particularly. Well, you're president. I'm a I'm vice president. What do you, what is the, What do you mean? Oh, I just get the title. I don't have to do anything. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. It's, I'm sure that's how it goes. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since so she was the first one to show interest. Ah, there we go. Show in interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. So that's how you do it. No bullying to get titles here. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And... Okay, crap. I, I suck at pronouncing these things. Natsuki? Natsuki? Make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. <clears throat> can't tell if Sayori is, is really that much of an airhead. <laughs> or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. Uh, a bit of both. I let her a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. That should have been the ta tagline for this. Like, they should have that massive quotes. Like, Doki Doki Literature Club. And then, thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. 10 out of 10. I'm just going to save. Alright. Just to be safe. I can keep going for a while. I dejected... Uh, I can't pronounce today. Dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. I wonder how old this guy is. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Like you do. Everyone, the new members here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glance around the room. Oh, damn. Girl one. I like it. Welcome to the Literature Club. It is a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. <clears throat> I am not making her out to be a smoker. <laughs> She's not gonna be a smoker. <laughs> okay. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, goddamn. Okay, maybe she is. Okay, girl number three. Ah, Sensei, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Okay, so she's a stoner. God. Okay, so so she's gonna be timid, she's gonna be a smoker, and she's gonna be a stoner. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the childhood friend then? Airhead? I don't know. Oh boy, welcome to the club. 
Our words escape me in this situation. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Good, good job. This is only in, this is, that would only happen in, in, in anime or video games, trust me. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki. The one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a th first year. She's also the one to make cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I intend to. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparable Comparably more mature and timid. See, timid, I guess that. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nat Natsuki. I'm gonna say this right now. Tall people in any sort of anime are usually very timid. It's from it's it's what I find. Um, what's a good example? Uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. There's a certain character that I'm trying to remember. Uh, I can't remember right now. It'll come to me. But yeah, I, I guess that she was pretty timid. Um, also the hair color, I believe that's also, um, that also goes into, like, their personality a lot. It's, um, like, as if you have a certain hair color, you're more like, the character's more likely to act like this. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, what's the history button? Oh, okay, that's, so that's what that does. Alright, I'm just gonna save again. Get used to that, I save a lot. Alright, so, hard time keeping up. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That, that's right. It's great to see you again, Sensei. Monica s smiles sweetly. Very nice smile. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Well, it's better than nothing. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. I I don't I don't know what my character looks like, but it, chances are he's probably not the fittest dude. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. So having her smile at me so genuinely make, feels a little. You too, Monica. C come sit down, Sensei. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. How about I make us some tea as well? I don't know if I should do the voices or not. Honestly, it's gonna be weird because my voice is like so like selective right now. I don't know why. How about I make some tea as well? Well, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I, I used to do that a lot um, with friends. As they already mentioned, it's been widened so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tra train hand. Okay, are you ready? Oh wait, I thought she was. I thought I was gonna make her a smoker. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Dang it! No, I don't think I can. I can do that voice. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off, to, uh, off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siri grabs the first one, then Monica I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. 
This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard haven't I heard this song somewhere before? Name them for you or anything. I really hope that my character isn't isn't that dense. <clears throat> Alright. Eh, I thought you technically did say I said well maybe. <laughs> Enough for you know dummy. I'm sorry she hasn't said Baka yet. Alright, alright. I gave up a nice weird logic and and dismissed the conversation. Dismiss. Very affirmative. I believe this guy. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before set, setting down the tea, teapot next to the cupcake tray. Oh, excuse me. He keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Why would a teacher be against a tea set? I mean, like... I mean, granted, if you're gonna have like a lighter and stuff, fire alarms... Uh, I'm digging too deep into this. I, I overthink these things. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea to help you enjoy a good book? Hmm. Yeah, I say so. I used to drink Mountain Dew and and uh, well, when I read, but it was mostly comics and stuff. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> don't don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Yeah, that's that's not insulted. <laughs> Yuri looks away. That's definitely looking away. Very interesting stuff over here. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Oh, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faint, faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I practically drank here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, Sayori so really seemed really happy here, so... I'm just gonna stop here right here. How come they haven't give, really given us that many options to respond? Like, Dream Daddy, you get options, like, almost immediately. Like, on how you're gonna, like, you know, respond to characters. Are you gonna be nice? Are you gonna be compassionate? Are you gonna be snarky or whatever? And I haven't seen any of that in here, so I guess we'll find some later. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Oh, so she's the... So she's the club um, president, okay. Oh yeah, they mentioned that. I'm gonna have trouble remembering these names. Okay, let's see. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided you to start your own club? You, you could possibly be a board member for any of the major clubs. Why don't you be leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics going around the, around the ma major clubs. Ah, yes. Major club politics. That sounds very interesting for high school. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. That's basically it. Perfectly summarized. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special of it. Well, good for you. Good for you. Your happiness is very important. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a, really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. So describing, I like it. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a club. You can put it that way. Not many people are interested in put, putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Like a book. You have to convince people, like, you know, hey, read this. And, like, you convince a few people, then it can grow and grow and grow. Like, um, like, people took, it took people quite a while to convince me to watch Harry Potter. But then I watched it, and then I read the books. So, the movies convinced me to read the books. And then the books convinced me to rewatch the movies. That was my, that was a good summer. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I like, I, so far I'm liking this. 
so you don't have to work hard to... Yeah. But it, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Okay, so she's sassy. She's timid. She's air an airhead, and she's popular, but is sweet. Okay. Such a different girl is all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all, all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Sensei, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, uh, considering how, how I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! I'm not quite mean to myself half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Oh, well, that we can change. What am I saying? I spoke with her thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, jeez, dude. What have you gotten yourself into? Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. She has her hands behind her back. How's she doing that? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The levels, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid the, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. A lot of people are like that. I'm just gonna save. A lot of people are like that. Let's see. Yeah, like I used to be like that. I used to be a very energetic kid and the only way like I could really relax is like preoccupying myself with either TV or books. So yeah. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately taken advantage of by your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Hmm, yep. In a way, you're building a story in your mind, so... Hmm. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror bo book once. I just desperately g grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I think a rock would be more interesting than you. At least that has history. Wrecked. Yes, air horns, everything. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me into another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Well, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's di eyes dart over for, to me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> You usually, that's right, you usually write, like to write about cute things, don't you, not because you'll be exposed. We got a detective over here, folks. Detective, you've been exposed. You've been exposed! Uh, what, what gives you that idea? You have to piece of scrap paper behind la last club meeting. Damn! <laughs> Looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Nagasi and puts her hands on her shoulders. It's not- I'm not cute. Her hands are here. <laughs> oh, the eyes. The eyes. I always like that in anime. Let's see, you read your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. That's okay, you averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand that's how he feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. These people are very poetic for being in high school. Oh, they're in a 
writing club. I said poetic. I am. I am off today. <laughs> you must be willing to open up your to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help not. That's what you feel comfortable enough to share hers. Blank. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. That's okay, and Yuri quietly. Quit. Quizzically look at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll, sh we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, um yeah, let's do it. <laughs> They're like, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> there's always one. There's always one of these friends. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sensei? Monica waves warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Yeah, hey, what's that? Now we've talked. Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sarah may have convinced me to stop by, but I never, I, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, that was my train of thought. <laughs> All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Mm, sensei. <laughs> Y'all. In defense of this How am I supposed to make a clear hit in decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Siri wraps around me, jumping up and down. Her arms are in. Hey, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really did can't come by the if, for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. That's what I. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so that we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. It says, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Who jumps when they're laughing? <laughs> Can I really impress that star class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the other girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nats clean up their food. Hey, Sensei, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. That's right. Sayori and I never walk home anymore because she's always, because she, she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! Without the two of us, to depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. I think he likes Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a liter literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes their poem the most. Okay. Okay, um, so she's timid, she's cheerful, and she likes cute things. Oh boy. I'm just gonna save here. Um... Uh, well, let's start with pink. Okay. Pink. 
Uh, love. There we go. No. Uh, eternity. Okay, we're balancing this out, I guess. Sweet. Fluffy. Okay. Am I going for her? I guess I, I guess so. Let's do this. Party. Family. Forgive. Oh, God. Um, uh, grief. Jesus Christ. Uh, jumpy. Eh, ironic. Kitty. Okay, I need to choose some for her, otherwise it's gonna be... Are you, oh, you're shitting me? You're the miserable one? She's timid. Uh, crimson. Determination. Uh, fickle. Twer shit. Uh, unrequented. Depression. Oh, you are not depressed. I hope not. Uh, Starscape. Yes. Okay. I think I balanced it out. Hi again, Sensei. That totally went well. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> no, I just had my uh, motorbike uh, for decoration. Nah, don't worry. This may be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <clears throat> Thanks for keeping your promise, Sensei. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. But can you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Sounds, sounds like a good idea. I mean, what else am I going to do, man? What else? Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Well, thanks. See, you're told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't even know if you just come, just plan to come. Ugh. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That's okay. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps your manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki, Nat Natsuki finds herself between, stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plumps back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Since he always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps us with busy work. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. I know, right? So yeah, that's become that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that, is that so? <laughs> yeah, I, I accidentally did some anarchy, you know. It happens. Every now and then. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might just... I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Sensei can become good friends, too. Um... Yeah, I don't think friends is what she's thinking about. Sayori? Hmm? Oh, God. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori... It me. Mm, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Mm, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? Uh, sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it me. I guess this. That means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll, it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Well, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Plot twist, it's a chainsaw! Alright. Well, here. Here he reaches the dirt bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel it left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Oh boy. This, this is... How is that girl... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I thought... I, I, thought, I really hope my main character isn't this dance. God damn it. 
She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Oh, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I, ex I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Hey, scheduled activities, it's always the best. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Well, cheery conversations are always nice, you know? I mean, you don't want to have a long, drawn-out conversation that you're not invested in. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem like a good idea. I like this music. All right, all right. I'm I'm finished. I'm finished cheering, chilling. Yeah, let's get into this. Here is face sorry buried in a book. Can't help but notice her immense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Mio and Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one, no one wanted to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related to by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. How can you be too tired to read? I, I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Mo Monica. Just casually eavesdropping. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna s seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. Festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever? No one would come in the first place with a literature event. Everybody get... Everybody get your drawing pens together and get ready to write some cursive. It's this club. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? After they come, we can, we can do the thing to speak to... After they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to see her deliberately like this. Wait, what does it say? Deliberating like this. Okay. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Or what kind? Uh, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That worked out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes is them. Of course, it's cupcakes. I mean, you can't get them. You can't get. You can't get them. Um, uh, just fast food. It's just like here. Join our club, or you won't get this. I'm hungry. Anyways, we need. To f anyway, we need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. Me and Sayori is still your usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up get, letting her get on my case about things. But I can't help but wonder what it must, what it, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. What? I hope my find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall on my chair. Eh, sorry. Wait, what? Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. Isn't this isn't an F club? Does the school have an F club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? That's your end club. You're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You're gonna have to get used to it. No! You can't make me. I'll, I'll, I'll choose to be an outcast. I'll choose to get paler and paler as I stay inside. For days on end. 
Holy crap, I am getting power. I need to get out more. Nah. Um, let's see. You'll get, you, you'll need to get it used, used to it. Let's see. What was it? Uh, there was a game. I just remembered there was a, there was a game that I, w that I was going to play, but I forget what it was. Ah, uh, crap. Anyway, that will come to me as well. Let's see, the timid character. It was somebody from Full Metal Alchemist. Hmm. Ah, it will come to me. You, you need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I got over to my, my shoulder, my sh shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah. Huh. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> what I do best. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? You look up for me better than you look up for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Yeah. Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this week have you gotten up on time? That's it's a secret. <laughs> I knew it. Come on. <laughs> Again with the finger thing. I don't get that. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh. Sayori glan glances around at herself. Um, how is it written all over me? Jesus. <laughs> You're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out of, right here. Ah! I have my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just r really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Like your boys isn't straight either. And this toothpaste is straight on your car right here. This isn't a roast. This is a literature club. You don't need to be roasting the person. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger, but nobody w would ever notice that. Of course they would. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't, I don't really care about that. <laughs> what a nice guy. Sounds like a... So Sounds like a real charmer. And you don't even keep your blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori. Why, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh. That's super me. God. That, that's, 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 that's hitting it well, buddy. Sorry, but do thank me later. I started to button your blazer for the bomb. Don't go there. Don't go there, dude. Wants to see how much better it looks though, you'll change your mind. Oh. Eh. This is so funny. What is... Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these sort of things. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing friends you normally do. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> Make me feel weird about s stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah. I, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully to fully close the button near your chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Uh -huh. It did when I bought it. You have to buy school uniforms? Hmm. If you ever buttoned it, you you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Why are you smiling about it? means my boobs got bigger. Than okay. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so ah. Why does it feel strange to see Siri's blazer button up like that? Because it's so, st but it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Siri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew, that's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? I want you to sting them just like a kid. Then I'll. I mean. If they're right about what they're passionate about, it could be school uniforms. I mean, uh, because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do the thing. Look, if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do the things like. Okay, third take, third take. If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And, and you take better, better care of me than anybody else would anyways. 
That's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. I, I guess so, yeah. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. Yeah, sure you were. Man, it's impossible to tell you with you sometimes. I don't think she was joking, dude. Okay, everyone. Eh. Monica suddenly calls out, Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Sensei, can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to relieve her po retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find mis inspiration since I've never done this before. Oh, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find s someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori, Ugh, Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is uh, is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf from torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a comp composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh boy. This is like anime Jeopardy music. Da -na 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 -na. Uh, let's see. Uh, huh. Actually, I think this might be a good spot to end this off this episode. It's getting a little late. Really late, actually. Um, and yeah, but I had fun. I think this. Uh, I think this is going to be an interesting experience, and I'm proud to share it with you guys. I um, I'm gonna try and get these episodes out fast. And since this isn't a collab, I don't have. Uh, I don't have to get my friends together to do these. Um, I might get one of my friends to come in on one of these, and, uh, we'll see how that goes, you know? I'm a, I, I always look forward to these sort of things, making videos for you guys. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, when, it, when you see this video, honestly, the next video will probably be up within two or three days of this one, so the wait won't be too long. Um... But yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the absolute world to me. Take care, and have a great day. Bye!